guys, today we are talking casual sex, so let's get into it. If you're new here, you probably don't know what's become my new personality trait, and that was ending my engagement seven months ago. Did I have to recount how many months ago that was just now and was shocked to find that it was seven? Yes. But after the loss of that relationship, I knew I wasn't ready to seriously date again, but like, I wanted companionship. And I had a couple partners. And I learned a little bit about casual sex and I'm gonna tell you everything that I've learned here today. The first thing, I utilized dating apps. So Tinder, before I was banned, Hinge and Bumble. And I actively searched for people that I would be able to hang out with and have a conversation with. Just because my main thing was like, yeah, it'd be nice to have like a friends with benefits sort of deal. It didn't mean that I just wanted somebody that would come over, we would have sex, and then I would ship them out the door, you know? I wanted somebody that I could have a conversation with, that they could stay over and it didn't make me want to blow my brains out. Check in, send funny memes. Like I just wanted something casual and fun and light. And those were my intentions. So that's what I communicated to people that I was talking to. And over the months I was lucky to meet some really cool people. Some turned into just like friends and some I did end up sleeping with and it was a very like sex oriented relationship. And I had some of the best sex of my life over the last couple of months. And this is why. Because I made sure that the person that I was hanging out with and exploring that with was somebody that I enjoyed spending time with outside of sex. It was somebody that we could go and get a drink, we could hang out, but it was also somebody that I didn't see myself dating. And because we kept seeing each other, because I really, I can't do a one night stand. It is the worst sex ever. I hate it every time it's bad, every single time for me. But for casual sex, I like that you can see each other more than once, you can possibly make this a recurring thing, and that for me, again, allowed the comfort of, hey, I would like to explore this fantasy with you, or what do you think about bringing this toy into the bedroom? Now, if that's not something that you have right at the start, there are some things that you should be looking for and including no matter if it's casual sex, a one night stand, a random hookup, whatever, there should be a few non-negotiables and this is where Beducated comes in and is super helpful. So if you don't know what Beducated is, it is a website that has all of these different courses on just leveling up your sex life essentially. And I do have a coupon code, it is YOUNGING to get 40% off a year long membership. You can also with that code, try everything on Beducated for one day for free. You have access to the entire library, which is full of just sexperts from all over the place giving advice on their area of expertise. And these videos are so great. Like their video for casual sex or one night stands or hookups, they literally act out the entire thing from picking someone up at the bar to going home, to talking about protection, to literally seeing the entire sex portion. You see all the different positions, you see all the oral, you see all the funny banter, you see how it ends and you're laying together. You see them drinking water because you have to rehydrate. You see everything. You can see, visually learn what a healthy hookup situation looks like, what a consensual, excited situation looks like, what boundaries look like. There are over 80 courses from world-renowned experts in their field and there is new content added weekly so there is everything that you could want from like kinky stuff to body positivity to LGBTQ relationships. Click the link down below and you can level up your love life for $10 a month in the comfort of your own home. So as always, thank you to Beducated for sponsoring this video. And now I wanna talk a little bit about the foundational things that Beducated covered in their video that you should always be looking for in a hookup. The first thing is like, no matter if you meet the person at a bar or on an app, or at the library, whatever, you wanna be sure that you have some sort of a connection and a trust in this person. You want the person to be your vibe. Even if it is just strictly sex, you want somebody that you will be comfortable communicating with. So at least ensure that there's a level of banter and a level of being comfortable opening up. The second thing is make sure that you have your boundaries set. 
okay? So that means protection and bring your own, whether you're ending up at their place, at your place, that can mean condoms, dental dams, whatever. Just make sure that you are sure of what you want and you don't move things further until protection is in place. Enjoy yourself and be in the moment, but when it comes to casual sex, especially the first time or one night stands, keep your expectations to a minimum, right? Because, and this is why I don't love one night stands for myself. Good sex for me, is reliant a lot on trust and feeling safe in the situation. That's obviously something that's necessary for sex, one night stand or otherwise, but I find it builds the more that I see somebody and it makes me feel more able to open up and experiment and try new things like, you know, more kinky stuff, more positions, more dirty talk, than I would be like, hey, we just met each other and now let's like pull out the handcuffs, you know? So keep your expectations reasonable for a first time. You are here to have a good time with another human being and at the end of the day, it is an experience that you will share. I would also say for a hookup, ensure that somebody knows where you're going. Text a friend, give them the address, let them know where you're going, this person's name, whether you're gonna stay over, and then make sure that you check in just so they know that you're safe. And let's just reinforce the most important thing here, you can say no, you can stop, you can pull it back at any time, whether they're already inside of you, whether their face is down in between your legs, it doesn't matter. If you're having a moment of, ooh, I need a minute, you can take a minute. If you're having a moment of, ooh, this was a mistake, I need to go, you can stop it anytime. I've really found kind of my sexual vibe in my room, right? So a lot of the times I have people over in my own space because I feel comfortable here. I have all of my stuff here. I have my bathrooms here. I have my clothes here and it's just where I feel safe. So it also allows me to set the mood that I want and the mood that I want is I have these LED lights in my room and I always have them on red because it just feels sexy to me. If we're doing music or something, I just tell Alexa to put on some sort of a sex playlist so there's some sort of quiet noise in the background. And otherwise, I just make sure that there's water on both nightstands so we can both rehydrate. And casual sex has been good, like I said, it was no expectations, it was no big like emotional feelings after they left where I was like, oh, I can't wait to see this person again. Oh my God, I really see this going somewhere. And that's what I needed after this relationship that had taken so much of my mental energy. And maybe it's not even like, I can't date, I'm not in the place for it. Maybe you just don't want to and you just wanna have casual sex, whatever your reason. Great, do it. And I'm so happy that I was able to literally, like I said, have some of the best sex of my life one guy made me come like six times, six times, six times in one night. I was dehydrated as shit the next day. It was insane. And that is something that I will forever just like, if I'm lonely, if I'm having a moment, I'll just think back to that and be like, wow, that was really great sex. And sometimes it's really bad sex too. And that's okay. It adds to the narrative, but like sometimes you're just not super compatible with somebody. Even if you can have good conversations, sometimes it just doesn't flow. That's okay. You just don't see them again. But when it does flow, that's when I have the conversation of like, if you're at all interested in keeping something very light and casual, I would be super happy to make this a more regular thing. And the time that I did that, he was very open to it. And it wasn't until I had my situationship and it didn't work out that I was like, you know what? I think I'm kind of done having something that's a little bit more casual. I think I'm ready to date with more intention and I'm ready to find a place of safety and a regular partner that I grow together and I can create a future with. While I was in the phase of like, fuck it, let's just have fun, casual sex was a really fun additive to that. And it allowed me to do the work on myself that I wanted to do. I was able to like get back into therapy and talk through a bunch of things. I was able to journal. I was able to get into a good workout routine. I was able to like kind of fix myself from the inside out and become a person who is ready to date and get hurt again. I would love to hear your guys' stories if you have any casual sex tips or icks. Oh my God, I have so many casual sex icks, dating icks, sex icks, all of the things. And that is a video that's gonna be coming because like, as much as sex is a safe place to express yourself, there's also some things where it's like, let us not drop full condoms on the floor. Let us pick them up and put them in the garbage, yes? Let us not fight on the idea of you wearing a condom. There's literally nothing more unattractive to that ever. Like, it is such an ick, I cannot even tell you. Ooh, but also just like a quick 
me to you tip make sure that you're always peeing after sex and like i said have the water so you can rehydrate because uh depending on how good the sex is you're you're gonna be dehydrated you know you're sweaty you're hopefully getting some sort of a release, you know? And I will also say casual sex has allowed me to figure out things specifically that I like and things that I don't like. Like when I was able to really get into it with one partner and we had several encounters and we did things several times, I figured out things in the BDSM and kink world that I really liked and things that are like kind of weird that I was like, I thought I would have liked this, but I'm not a big fan of it. Now I'm able to sit here more comfortable and more confident in the things that I know I like and the things that I know like I'm not so much into. So it helped me grow in my sexuality a little bit and I also feel much more comfortable asking for what I want and being very firm in my boundaries of using protection and things like that. But anyways, guys, thank you again to Beducated for sponsoring this video and thank you to all of you for watching this video. I wanna hear from you in the comments below. Let me know your favorite casual sex story or any sexual ics or dating ics. Again, those videos are coming very soon and I'm really excited and I would love to incorporate some of your own personal ics down there, but I will link Beducated down below, check them out, use the code, get 40% off a year long membership and I will see you very soon, bye.